away just in time for the Star Allies update. Too bad we're not playing Star Allies. We're playing Kirby's Dream Land 2 for the Game Boy. Uh, wait, what the heck? Maybe this way. Maybe this way would do it. Ah! I'm trapped in this squarish hell. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah! But yeah, welcome. Welcome to the official sequel to the first Kirby game. Mm hmm Kirby's Dream Land. And this one? Well, this is the one that stars Kirby's animal friends. Like Rick. It's Rick. Good day, Mike. Oi, Kirby, I'm Australian for some reason. <laughs> I almost I almost said Ricky because I confused him for the... Well, I didn't confuse him, I confused the name because there's a kangaroo in the Oracle games named Ricky. Yo, Rick guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so but, it's just um... a normal, every day, average day for Kirby. He's just walking around Dreamland, just saying hi to the Waddle Dees, and, well, sucking up anything that is not a Waddle Dee. Like the witch. Like the good you Samaritan know, like the he is. Ooh. And all the weird spring thingy. But today, a new thing's about to happen in Kirby Land. Yep, something rather dark and sinister. And when it's only a matter of time before his plan springs into action. Also, I was gonna say, like, this is the first ooh, something ooh, brand roller. new to the Kirby series. Parasol. Copy abilities, I mean, wait. You mean that this you mean there were games where it wasn't a thing? Actually, yes, the original Dream Land did not have copy abilities. This is the day that started Kirby's life and his legacy. <laughs> well, actually, that's not entirely true. I mean, he got to start with the copy abilities as early as Kirby's <laughs> Adventure, which came out just a year after the original Dream Land. Uh, uh, Dream Land 2 oh, just, that well... That chick is dead. Be pretty, well, I guess you could say it's the first Cur Game Boy Kirby game where you can use copy abilities, but your your options aren't actually all that fair. And all you have are, like, the parasol, Ow. burning... Why didn't you get your umbrella back? Because I was stunned that he hit me. And from that day forward, Kirby swore vengeance on all Waddle D kind. Do the dance. Oh yeah, by the way, hi by the way, hi there, Iki. Hey, oh, Eric. hello. <laughs> yes, I am here for this commentary as well. You are a new Kirby face today. And to be honest, this is actually one of the only Kirby games I've never played. Really? Yeah. Ironically, this was the first Kirby game I ever played. Interesting. For one, this is... Well, for one, I didn't own the original Game Boy. I had to uh, inherit my older sister's, um, what's it called? I never had a Game Boy either. The uh, heck is that? Uh, he's a, he's a burning element, but I actually don't know his name. Uh, I think his name is Ifrit. I had to inherit my older sister's Game Boy Color a few years back, but, um... No, I've never played this. I've Rick. never played Kirby's Rick, Dream Rick. Land on the Game Boy. You're okay! Um, Oi there, friend! Mind if I help you out? Whoa. Ooh. Oh, wow. And now we have a hamster. Yeah. Sorry about that. I had to rather halt to mall earlier. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Um, Alrighty. I'm just curious as to how there's this gigantic hamster that Kirby is now piloting for his ungodly adventures throughout Dreamland. Well, you see, <laughs> this is Dreamland, and in Kirby's world, anything goes. It's eat or be eaten. I love how Kirby's just a ball. He's so fun. I will say, but... though, compared to the first game, um, I really do like the sprite work so far. Oh, yeah, very the sprite work definitely saw a slight improvement from the original Kirby's Dreamland, and, well... I love, I love how the was going. I love that how... Uh, 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 I, love how I, I love how that whenever... I love how that whenever Rick enters the doors, he can't even really fit in normally. It's almost, it almost looks like he's trying to wiggle his way and like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's trying to parallel he's park. Fit. Nice, nice attention to detail. Also, yeah, apparently some of our creatures, some of these creatures can inhale as well. Mm -hmm. I forgot that he... Uh, did he ever show that off in any other Kirby game or the anime at all? He was barely even in the anime. I remember he was in the anime. Yeah, he I'm... was in the anime. But other than that, I don't. Uh, other than that, and of course, yeah, I know. Star like, Allies. I think... what, what other games has he appeared in? Um, was he in Was he in Dreamland Three? Uh, yes, he was in Dreamland Three along with it, along with his cohorts and a new slew of animals. In fact, speaking of which, unlike Kirby's Dreamland Two, Dreamland Three will be a commentary. More on that. A whole later. slew of animal okay. friends that barely get any representation. Oh no, we need <laughs> umbrella. <laughs> oh. So what are those things? These little sparkly doodads are called Rainbow Drops. Rainbow Drops are pretty much our main collectible of this game, and there's one per world. Oh, here we go. There ironic, we go. Considering they're, ironic considering they're supposed to be rainbow colored, except everything is a shade of green. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, it's almost as if it's the Game Boy well, or something. Well, Mr. Picky. Oh, so yeah, well, Mr. Picky. I mean, you could have played this on the Super Game Boy, or the Game Boy Color, because this game does have built-in colors options. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh. 
That is true, but I decided not to. Yeah, that made up. Now, I'm curious why they abandoned the, uh... I I'm curious, maybe for cultural reasons, I'm curious why they abandoned the idea of the Umbrella enemies actually being, like, you know, the, the old Japanese, like, monster. Mmm, honestly? Yeah, me. Like, I mean, Dream the Dreamland series has al always been sort of an oddball when it comes to the rest of the Kirby series, where they don't exactly follow the norm that, like, others would follow. For, uh, for example, actually, in the Dreamland Aww. series, Yay! um, whenever you're using a copy ability, you only have one option to use it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, when using it, you could only use, like, one particular attack. Hello, What's Wispy. That? What? Oh, hello. That doesn't look like Wispy. Uh, Wispy, you doing okay there? Is Wispy trying to be a surgeon or something? What the heck? What the hell was oh. that? It was just a ruse. I was gonna say, I think my disguise, I, I think my headcanon that is that he was just like, Oh no, no, I'm not Ow. Wispy, no, no, don't have to head me. Okay, fine, you, fa you, you found me out. I'm Wispy. What gave me away? No, I'd like to think that Wispy was genuinely sick, and you're just beating the shit out of him for no good reason. Yeah, off he cries again. Actually, going off the whole disguise thing, I did want to make a joke. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Well, I don't know, maybe it's the hair, maybe it's the nose, maybe it's the fact that you're a devil damn tree. <laughs> so I moved from a steak island to a spaghetti and meatballs island. I love the little... Oh! A new character. Oh, oh no! Oh. Oops. It's an owl! Oh. <laughs> missed me, Apple. Also, I lo also when whenever we were on the star, I loved, the I I loved how Rich had these teeny little bead eyes of, oh My god, we're in space. <laughs> <laughs> so why are we only doing this as a look at? I'll be completely honest with you guys. As far as, like, the mainstream Kirby games are concerned, this isn't exactly one of my favorites. And it's not because of, like, the first half of it or so. It's perfectly normal. It's just the latter half of it can be especially annoying. That all of you just try to ambush you. Well, it's a hard game, I think, at the end. It, it, can be, it can be a bit tricky within the later portion of the game, and, um... Scarfie. The schmucks can speak from experience. I fucking suffered at the final boss. Yep. Ow. <laughs> Even I witnessed that. Cool. Hello, birdie. Well, goodbye, Ricky. Sorry, Rick. You must go now. I found my new friend. Yay! I love how Rick just disappeared off the face of the earth the second you chose Koo. Exploded. Owl friend! Yes, an owl Wee. friend. Wait, there's no little billies. Who could spin with a parasol? Wee. Yeah, the, the umbrella power up is pretty OP. Oh, yes it is. Well, in this game at least. Hey, Logan, I hope next time we can get together we can at least finish that yarn. I do want to finish that. Just had, the issue is that I brought over and I forgot to have to do it on my Wii U. So when we came, when we when I went to your house, we had to like start a whole brand new file again. Yeah. A cutter. A cutter. Oh, hey, Sir Kimble. Hey, and that should that should make that correlation. Now I have to think of some kind of co-op game me and Jordan can play whenever we meet up. <laughs> but yeah, Kuz just yeah. Kuz just having a nice old time sitting up perched atop our head. I should get myself a copy of Epic Yarn. It's it's a fun little game, I think. But uh, yeah, so this was, yeah, so as, as you can now definitely see, Dream One Two was rats. We need something heavy. Nope. We need stone. Nope. We need something a bit spikier. We or need spike. two five-sided dice. <laughs> One spikier than. The, oh, even is... Gordos were in this game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, Gordos have been in the series since the since the, since the very first game. Yeah, I'm trying to think what could be spikier than spiky. Um, have, like, um, a syringe? We use a Gordo. That would be yeah, why, why not a Gordo? Which, by the way, were freaking pain in the ass in Air Ride. No, 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 the way, um, no, 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 no. <gasps> I was about to say, just going to the um, Gordos real quick. Um, unless I'm mistaken and that there's a Kirby game that proves me wrong, has Gordos ever oh. been like a possible transformation you can get when you use stone? Oh, I hate that hedgehog. I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. I it would have been interesting attention to detail, but no, they I they think mostly that... stuck to more contemporary things like a yeah. stone, uh, a, 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 stat, a statue, uh, a Mario a Mario brick block. Right. So is that supposed to be? I want to say the Gordo is at least in Smash. Uh, it, it, it's not. You're th you're you're thinking of Flomp. Funny that you mentioned the likes of Gordos and the likes. In uh, in terms of Kirby capacity, because there is a mini boss later on that is essentially a giant Gordo that launches its spikes at you. Once it does yep. that, you can actually hurt it. Yeah, ironically, that's ironically, despite its size, he's actually you can actually kill it. 
I wonder what the, uh, um, and does it save you getting a rainbow drop like we could leave the stage if we want to? Yep, we can. Yay. Ooh, okay. So backtracking is not a pain. Yeah, this was before the dreaded late 2000s, where every game forced you to beat the stage before you can keep all your collectibles. Suck it, Return to Dreamland. Mm. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Uh, um, but yeah, so this is Dreamland. But yeah, so as we said, this is Dreamland 2, what started off Kirby's main three animal friends. Yep. Kirby's animal friends. It only appeared in this game, Dreamland 3, and then kind of shoved off for a while, up until uh, Star Allies. But yeah, I don't know I don't know if like the Kirby purists would be upset about it, but considering that Star Allies recently Finally, it gave a power up. Maybe, maybe I actually haven't played a Kirby game like since Yarn, so I probably what, really use, Jap use Japanese monsters. So, like, like, yeah, what is that? That's not about. That's a rocket song. So I didn't get a lot of experience with Triple Deluxe Robobot and all that other stuff. So I don't even know if they even started with it. But oh, Robobot is a lot of fun. But if they were able oh, to yeah. find, if they were able to finally give the witch power up. Like, with his own sandal. But if they were able to finally give the witch, like, her own little power- What the- Who is this? Gooey! He looks like a derpy little dope. You touch him, and he restores one piece of heart for you. Okay. Did we just uh, eat him? I- I- You know what? I don't know. So I'm assuming that is who pops out- Though it wouldn't out. make perfect sense considering what you can do with him in Dreamland 3. So I'm assuming he pops out whenever the person, whenever like, so I'm assuming, like, if we didn't have Koo already, that should have had Koo, but since we did have Koo, instead we got Koo. Either Gooey or on the very rare off chance, there's also another Blob character who's literally like a female Blob or whatever. She'll give you an extra life if you can find her. Oh, hmm. That's cool. But again, that's very, that's extremely rare. But anyway, to finish my thoughts, so, I mean, if we, if they finally gave the witch, like, her own, like, power copy ability of cleaning, I wonder if, like, what would you think would happen if they gave Gordo a copy ability? Oh, It'd be no. needle. needles. But, like, do you think, but do you think the Kirby peers would be like, no, you should not be able to inhale Gordos? No, it'd be, it would be, uh, needle. Because, like I said, the mini boss, the so, mini boss grants, uh, needle. Anyway, time for our next boss. It's oh, no. Ruff! And Nelly. Piggies. I think Kirby's been inhaled a lot worse than Gordo's. These things are total again? assholes and uh These things are total assholes in Kirby 64. Oh yeah, gotcha. yeah. Because sometimes they just appear behind you. But anyway, oh, just yeah, there is to catch up. But anyway, just going back to what we were talking Ow. about, how like, you know, whether Kirby Pierce would approve of like Kirby inhaling like certain things. What do you think he would? What kind of power up do you think he would get? Should he have the ability to inhale Scarfies? Um, uh, crash. Uh, crash. Devil Kirby. Devil Kirby. Yeah. No, I think yeah. at one point you're able to inhale Scarfies and it grants you Crash. Huh. No, I know what it is. In um, in Kirby Superstar, if you use uh, the copy copy ability on uh, Scarpy, oh, yeah. you get Crash. Makes sense. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. It's Mirror. That's right. Oh, okay. It only works if you have the copy ability, though. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, no, th this game has some pretty tough bosses. Like, they can take a lot of They're not, they're not too terribly tough, but, like, again, the worst... The worst of it is that some of the level design, especially in the later half of the game, can get kind of BS. Who is sleeping? Dark, dark yeah. castle. Take fucking notes. That is not how you freaking do it. Onward to mashed potato island. Oh, nom nom kind nom. Here, food. Uh, and we got ourselves a fish. Oh, oh shit! Oh. oh. <laughs> I think we just witnessed an abduction. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Call child services, man. Kirby's a child. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah. He's a baby. He's, he's a, a baby. Star warrior. That is true. I assume you're referring to the anime. In, Kir in the Kirby games, well, he's just a simple character. Well, no, and that's the other thing. That's actually another interesting thing is that I'm getting the exploding coconuts. But uh, that's another thing is that, like, in some of these games, especially the earlier ones, like, with how the Kirby dance work, it's implied that there's more than one Kirby. Oh. Or it could just be for shell. Yeah. Uh, I think this is the first uh. year. Oh, God. Kirby, please stop doing that. I was about to say, because oh! I was about to say, I think the games never really. St I think the anime sort of establishes it a little bit, but the games never really go in depth as to the species Kirby is. No, but um, they do. They do go for lore. They do go for some sort of lore building. Let's remember. Let's remember the wise words of the uh, pet store owner in that one commercial. Uh, Kirby's just Kirby. Kirby's just Kirby. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, Kirby 64. Whatever he is, I, well, the well, I know that whatever he is, Meta Knight is as well, and I like to call them Poyos. Poyos. <laughs> They're just Poyos. Poyos. Oh god, that's a big speed. I wonder if I can fit through. Just use stone ability and you could slide on down. Maybe you need to get rid of the bird. Yeah, but I'll risk getting hurt in the process. Yeah, whenever we get out of stone, we have to get out oh. of stone sometime, not just live down there. But unfortunately we can't fit through there because, you know, Koo's a chubby little fuck. <laughs> He's a bird. Ow. I have a glandular problem, thank you very much. Excuse you, sir, I'm an owl. And again, whenever you're underwater, don't think about inhaling, otherwise you'll drown that way. Which is weird, because the only game where you can actually eat stuff underwater is uh, Kirby 64. Technically, this game you can as well, but not normally. Oh, it, 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 nice. Tomato. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Yay. Yay. Oh yeah, and if it's not me, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually showing off three worlds for this cop for this look at, because like they go by pretty quick. That yeah, there are only three stages of world. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. Well, three stages there for now, go. but. Starting with level four, they actually give you like four worlds and then five levels later, wow. and then it just it just keeps it just progresses the more you, worlds you go through. You How many know there's what? Total? Pardon? How many worlds are there in total? Uh, seven. Seven. Oh, close enough. You know what? Looking back, I kind of feel that this was a good example of tutorial worlds in terms of uh, how labs uh, level design. Because they've done this kind of stuff before Ooh, in, say, like, Box Boy or uh, Part-Time UFO, uh, where yeah. basically the first oh. few worlds are basically miniature worlds where you learn the basics of the game. Shock. And we free oh. the fish. Kind that of. is one jovial-looking fish. Does he talk in the anime? Uh, yes he does. We have a light bulb. I oh. didn't even know he was in the anime. Oh, wow. He had such a dopey voice in the in the uh, four kids dub, if I remember correctly. Oh, Kirby, yeah. you're so stupid. Well, listen to Ow! this voice. Wait a minute. Oh, not voice. Listen to this music. It's so like jaunty and like little so. Oh, I remember this theme. This was this was remixed in Return to Dreamland. Yeah, on your notion. Yep. This is technically Dun. Kind's theme. Do 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 do. Like uh, yep. but, uh, and that is something I will say um, for Dreamland too. Like whenever you're riding on an animal, their theme song starts playing, which is cool and all, but you also kind of miss out on some on the on the on the world on the world's as, uh, a unique soundtrack. So take that for what you will. Also, Kind does not do well on land because obviously he's fish. a fish. But interesting, yeah. we can light up the place. Uh, what was I say? And then uh, so I'm assuming it looks like Kind is a sunfish. Uh, uh, I believe so. Yeah. Looks like a sunfish. He's some kind of fish. Where's the door? Ah, okay. Which one's your favorite, Tilly? I don't know how this must feel for him to always, always constantly, uh, continuously having Kirby in his mouth. I want to say, which, which, one, which, which, which one of the animal friends is your favorite? Uh, who, um, me? Just in general. Oh, I like Rick. Uh, yeah, Rick is my favorite. I haven't really had too much experience. Oh! <laughs> Look, Kine looks so. It looks like Kirby's Lily oh. spike ability within Kine, and Kine's like. Let me, keep, what? Keep, let me keep my torture porn. Kine ah. is in, in. Kine is in immeasurable amounts of pain. Oh. Anyway, I'm actually. But no. Um. Oh god, look at this dress. And ironically, with nice. Kine, I actually get the to top very easily. It's, it's that aerodynamic ability of those wings. I should dynamically designed! Yeah. But no, um, in terms of uh, ah. Kirby's animal friends, do you limit it to Dreamland 2's animal friends, or the ones introduced in Dreamland 3 as well? Yeah, go for 3. I, I would say just in general. Um, yeah. uh, I'd say Choo Choo. Choo Choo's adorable, though. Playability wise, she's not my favorite. Not to mention, she's Kirby's supposed gal pal, so. Really? Well, among all the others. Anyway, Well, no, I mean, in this case, like. It's fairly obvious in Dreamland 3 spread animations that, you know, they are pretty happy to be together. But then again, they Yeah, are but kiddos. let's be fair here. How often do you see Choo Choo after Dreamland 3? Too little. Exactly. <laughs> well, considering how Star Allies is doing with its updates and whatnot, that might change soon. But anyway, um, while we are asking Iki a lot of these Kirby oh, things. <laughs> bye bye. Hi! Hi. How are you doing? Ow! Oh. They're just trying to say hello, Kirby. Welcome to our home. You know, this is painfully ironic considering one of the allies you actually have to help out in Dreamland 3 is one of those eels. 
<laughs> anyway. Oh, crap, but he's shot. Anyway, so it's hard, but sorry, I have no reason. Um, no. while we're asking oh. Ikiyo, while we're asking Iki all these, um, Kirby-related questions, um, Iki, what would you say is your favorite, um, power in the series? My favorite power? Um, it's really hard to say considering in this game, uh, well, the, every uh, just, ability I just mean like has, in, like, I don't mean ability. like just one specific game, I just mean throughout the entire series. Throughout the entire series. Ugh, um, right. my gut reaction is Refrigerator Kirby and Kirby 64. <laughs> Which I am so glad that they semi brought back for uh, Kirby Star Allies. Yeah, the still life. Oh, yeah. Again, look at poor Kai's. Oh. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> he is in a measurable Do, amounts of pain. Does this pink puff make me look fat? <laughs> oh, Kirby, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Perfect. But, he um, doesn't like to talk yeah, about I'm it. Sorry, back. But no, and then back to you, uh, Seely. So, which one was your favorite animal friend? Rick, because I ha I've had little experience with the other ones. Oh, fair enough. Rick's a classic, though. If I'm gonna, if for Dreamland Three's sake, I actually found a massive liking to uh, the cat Nago. Oh, Nago the oh, cat. Nago's fun. Yeah, Nago's yeah. adorable. So he rolls him around. Like a I mean, yeah, he rolls him around. He's got a bitch and triple jump, and well, one of the one of his um, one of his um, upgrades to one of the copy abilities is literally being able to uh, pogo jump via Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Which one? Which one's yours? Wait, was that Naga or was it someone yeah, else? Yeah, it was Naga. That was, was Naga. Hang on, guys. Yeah, with the parasol. Which one's your? Which one's your favorite hype? Um, favorite animal, buddy. Yes. I'm gonna be honest. I've never really played any of the Dreamland games, so I'm just gonna say you can right leave. off. Of... Hmm? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Keep okay. going. <laughs> Um, I will say just from from what little I can absorb, I guess I'll just say Rick. Okay. That is that is an acceptable answer. Rick's a simple guy, and he also has an Aust he, he's also Australian for some reason. <laughs> yeah, they did that for some reason. I think it's just because Rick. I guess Rick sounded like an Australian name, but oh yeah, and as you can see, Kine can actually swim against some of these currents. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and the four kids dub, uh, they pretty much gave Rick an Australian accent for whatever reason, even though I'm pretty sure hamsters are not native to Australia. I'm, I'm looking up his Japanese voice actor for the anime. Okay. Is that going to have any sort of relevance? I don't think it would, but... Because I'll... that Aussie accent is such a disgrace. <laughs> it's fine. Again, Another two one? two with a frickin' fish holding you back. <laughs> well, because he's aerodynamically designed. Oh, he voiced both Rick and Kirby. Interesting. Really? Wait, it was a female oh, she, voice? I mean, my bad. Oh, oh, so, so she was. Oh, oh god, this is uh, like, sweet stuff. This, this little guy, this guy looks like he's suffering more than me. Jesus Christ, this look boss, at his eyes. This boss gave me some trouble when I was a kid. Look at his eyes. I know, right? He looks like he's seen some shit. He's look. He looks like he's seeing some shit, as in right now. Yeah. Because, oh, uh, yeah, uh, because apparently, look at, uh, either looking at Kirby or looking at Kai, and he just has some sudden post-traumatic stress. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is that a face and a fish? <laughs> so once again, <laughs> my God, it is the end times. Oh, oh I've wow. seen it all. Kill him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what is? No, um, yeah. So I guess that's all we're gonna do with Dreamland, but Dreamland three anyway. Two, two, two. Dreamland two. Away to Dreamland Three. Three is one more than two. No, it's not on. It's 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 not on that that pair of flapjacks. It's well. That is a very snowing. floppy set of pancakes. Ah, I need cold. Let's go. Aww. Bye, kind. Hey, you're warm. See you, kind. <laughs> yeah, Rick was warmer than kind. Well, we brought kind anyway. But apparently, I guess I guess along the way, kind murdered Rick and just stuck and just kept Kirby anyway. Meanwhile, on in Iceland. <laughs> yeah, this is where things start to pit ramp up, and well, again, this is pretty much where we're stopping our look at. Uh, so that said, yeah, that was uh, Kirby's Dream Land 2 for the Game Boy. If you guys want to give it a shot yourselves, it is available on the 3DS Virtual Console. It is also available on the Kirby Dream Collection, which was available on the which was uh, released on the Wii a couple of years ago. Alrighty. Oh, so if you guys want to experience it there, you have that option. So on that note, I'm James Bay Extreme. Lucky Jack 20. Icky. Hyaline Princess Lita. And Icky. <laughs> In Aussie. I don't know. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Oi! Now. Now, this is a coin. <laughs>